if you just tell a child, do this, do it like this, and don't do anything different from this, they won't find learning fun. They won't they won't enjoy the learning, they won't connect with the learning. But if you give them a loose structure for them to build on, they can build around the structure and, um, and do the work and have fun doing the work. Children tell us how well they feel when they are outside being creative in nature. Our Branching Out programme brought together teachers, teaching assistants and parents to form Arts in Nature nurture groups in six primary schools in Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. Drawing on the skills of the whole school community, we have been building their capacity to support their children's health and well-being in new and innovative ways. You might remember having regular help from volunteers at school and enjoying that companionship and friendly support. This programme had a similar structure, offering children a weekly programme of time outdoors where they could slow down and connect with nature, enjoy creative freedom to explore and experiment, and build new relationships with each other. The adult role was not to be a teacher or a leader, but a creative companion, to offer kindness, to listen, to create a space for children to be themselves and to work at their own pace. Over the course of eight weeks, children have worked with a range of materials, pencils, pastels, string, tape, clay and plasticine, to name a few. They have made paintbrushes from natural materials, hung sculptures to add to the landscape and created large collaborative prints. They have experienced the season change and all sorts of weather and have had time to notice the wonders that nature offers. One child seeing a squirrel for the very first time. The adults involved have described the experience as joyous and inspiring. They have talked about how the children, no matter what their day has been like, enjoyed having something fun, creative and consistent to look forward to.